For the last three months exactly, I have been solo merge mining Dogecoin on this cheap little mini Dogecoin miner. And in this video, I'm going to share my results with you guys. If I've hit a block and how much that was worth and all of that. I also want to recap a little bit about why specifically solo merge mining with Dogecoin is kind of different and very interesting and also want to talk a little bit about this you know three months experiment that i have done with this and kind of the proof of concept that i was trying to well either prove or disprove with that experiment so that is what's coming up and we'll get right into it because i want to talk a little bit to start this video off with just what i mean when i say like solo and merge mining and how that works together so just to clarify those little concepts here quickly to start out the video, solo mining essentially means that you are mining completely on your own. And what that means is if you actually do solve a block when you are mining, if you hit a block, as we say, then you get to keep the full block reward. Now, that is as opposed to pool mining, where a bunch of people get together and they all mine together in a pool. And if one of the people in the pool hit a block, that uh, block reward from that block gets shared between all of the people in the pool, you know, based on how much hash rate or, you know, in layman's term, mining performance each um, uh, miner in the pool provided to the pool. So it gets distributed evenly based on hash rate. Now, take that and you put that together with merge mining. So what is merge mining? Well, merge mining essentially means that you are mining one coin, which is the parent coin, but then you can have a bunch of other child coins or child chains underneath that parent chain that can kind of piggyback off of that hash rate that is for uh, on, on the network for that parent coin. So it explained a little bit more simply there, essentially you can be mining just one single coin, but you are essentially submitting that hash rate to multiple different um, child coins at the same time, which you are essentially then just mining for free because it, you're mining multiple coins with the same hash rate without having to use any additional electricity you know with your mining hardware so this is different from uh, concepts like dual mining that some of you gpu miners might be familiar with where you're actually mining two different algorithms at the same time on for example uh, a gpu where you maybe you have one algorithm which is very core centric on the gpu and a different algorithm which is very memory uh, centric on the gpu and you could actually mine both of those algorithms at the same time but doing so uses more electricity than just mining uh, either one of them so that would, that's dual mining merge mining however is essentially just mining one algorithm but sending that hash rate to multiple coins at the same time now the beauty comes in uh, when we're talking about this uh, when you are solo and merge mining at the same time which is what i've been doing with my little dogecoin mini doge miner here uh, i believe it's a mini uh yeah the mini doge 3 coin mining central edition <laughs> that i have here and essentially solo mining and merge mining at the same time means well you are solo mining but you're also merge mining so if this hash rate that you are submitting um, hits a block on any of all of these different coins, you receive the full block reward. So it's essentially like solo mining a bunch of different coins at the same time. And the beauty comes in that a lot of these coins that are merge mineable, you know, on the Dogecoin algorithm, which is the script algorithm, a lot of the um, have a lot lower um, difficulty to hit a block than stuff like Dogecoin and another coin is obviously Litecoin that uses that same uh, script algorithm, which means even if you fail to hit a block on, for example, the Dogecoin chain, you could still hit a block and at least receive a little bit of an income on any of these smaller market cap, you know, um, child coins that have way lower difficulty. So 
what that means is as opposed to when you are just solo mining one very big coin like let's say you have you know one of these bit axes that i recently made a video on and you are just solo mining bitcoin on this thing well either you do hit a bitcoin block and you earn you know hundreds of thousands of dollars when you do so or you hit nothing however when you are solo merge mining you know dogecoin and uh, all the other merge mineable coins on that algorithm even if you don't hit that very valuable dogecoin block you could still hit one of the smaller market cap coins and still make a tiny bit of an income at the very least uh, during that time you are solo mining and of course that can be viewed in many different ways for example you can be happy that you hit something or you can see it as well at least i'm making a little bit back on my electricity cost for this miner while i'm hopefully waiting to at some point hit a dogecoin block or a litecoin block or whatever bigger block it is that you are hoping to hit now exactly three months ago i actually made a video uh, about this whole experiment and a more in-depth guide on how it all works and here that is uh this video on the screen here as you can see uh, i go in much more detail about how this whole thing works with solo merch mining i'm pretty proud of this video i did a lot of research and i yeah I, I think it's a good video i'll link it down in the video description if you do want to watch it this video is more so just a little bit of a recap of what that video is about but more so we're gonna look at my actual results now why i'm bringing it up on the screen here is because in this video i kind of laid out a little spreadsheet here that shows all of the well not no not all of but a lot of the different child chain coins that you would be merge solo mining at the same time as dogecoin now something to note here is that dogecoin is actually not the parent chain it is one of the many many child chains um, and you can all or, um, <laughs> just to get this clear too you can only mine one parent chain but you can mine pretty much as many child chains as you want as long as they exist so you have to pick one parent chain which i picked litecoin for my experiment that i've been doing here uh, and then I'm, um, of course, solo mining um, that together with mer uh, merge solo mining all of the different uh, child chains that can, you can see in the spreadsheet here uh, on the pool mining Dutch. We'll have a look at that in just a minute. The reason I'm bringing this up is because in this spreadsheet, not only did I show you kind of like how much a block reward for all of these different coins is worth and how many coins you get for hitting the block and so on, I also laid out the um, likelihood of hitting a block on all of for all of these different coins so you can see here with the amount of hash rate that you get with one of these miners here that i have the mini doge 3 uh, you are um, well statistically uh, for you to hit a dogecoin block you know just on statistical averages that would be once in every 2000 days roughly based on the network hash rate for dogecoin now when we talk about that it could mean you don't hit a block within 2000 days it could mean that uh you hit three blocks within the first week it all kind of comes down to uh, you know luck in the end anyway when solo mining like this but this is just like a statistical average i hope that makes sense now what we can see here is that there are some coins here where the likelihood of hitting a block is like 1 in 15 days, 1 in 13 days, 1 in 69 days. Pretty nice. <laughs> so what happened to me? Did I hit these blocks? Um, well, I guess we'll have a look after this quick word from this video's sponsor. My personal strategy in mining is to have a diverse farm. A big part of that is having ASIC miners for multiple different algorithms. Not only does that mean less risk as you're not putting all eggs in one basket, but you're also exposed to the profitability of multiple different coins, which could be very advantageous. And with that in mind, there are currently two miners in particular that I'm interested in. The first one is the new at-home Dogecoin miner from Fluminer. Dogecoin miners are always on my radar as they let you merge mine multiple coins at the same time 
same time without using extra power, with more mining rewards coming from new coins being added regularly. And the Flu Miner actually offers top tier mining efficiency while still being home mining friendly, as it's silent and runs on both 120 and 240 volt power. And the same goes for the second miner I'm currently interested in, which is, well, either the AE1 Lite or the AE0 from iServer. They both also have top tier mining efficiency while still being home mining friendly, but they mine Aleo, which is a smaller coin with a smaller network. And I love getting smaller miners for coins like that in order to diversify my farm, especially when they offer excellent performance like these ones do. But where can you get these miners from? Well, why not check out this video's sponsor, Coin Mining Central, which is an online store for ASIC miners with an over six year track record of overwhelmingly positive customer reviews. They have all the latest and most profitable miners, from silent home miners to full size ASICs. They can even provide immersion cooling systems and offer great bulk pricing on ASICs. On top of that, if you're in the US, you can also choose to order directly from their US stock of miners to get even faster delivery and to avoid customs and import charges. Based in the UK, Coinman Central prioritizes great customer support, strict personal detail protection, and free worldwide shipping on all miners with no additional payment payment fees at checkout. You can also utilize their loyalty and referral programs to save on your next purchase. Plus, use my link down in the video description and code SEB at checkout for a roughly $130 discount on every miner in your order priced over a thousand pounds. Like the flu miner that I mentioned earlier, or if you want to get a discount on the iServer AE1 Lite or AE0, you can use the code SEBALEO instead. So if you've been wanting to get some ASIC miners, check out that link below together with the code to save on your purchase. All right, so let's look at my results from solo merge mining Dogecoin and all those other merge mineable coins on the script algorithm. And I just want to bring up my pool here to show you kind of my hash rate. Unfortunately, it only shows for like lost two or three days or something like that on the mining dutch solo mining pool well it's a regular pool or a solo mining pool you can kind of set it up as as you choose which is very convenient for us miners now what i want to uh, mention here too is that like i did this as almost like a proof of concept where i wanted to show that you could solo merge mine in this way where you are earning some crypto from all of these smaller cap coins while still working towards hopefully hitting one of these really big uh, blocks on one of the big coins like Dogecoin or Litecoin. So my main goal with this little experiment wasn't necessarily to hit a Dogecoin block because it's extremely unlikely and I know that and also I know that I'm definitely not lucky in that way so i wasn't at all expecting to hit a dogecoin block within these three months uh, that i've had this experiment running uh, or a litecoin block or anything i just wanted to see will i hit any block at all on any of these chains to prove that this is something that works and could work for you guys as well if you're interested in doing it now one thing i also want to mention here is that like um i say i've been running this for three months this thing has not been on constantly for three months because we have it in one of our bedrooms here and I have to shut it off uh, pretty regularly uh, because of heat and it, it, all different kinds of reasons. So it's definitely not been running for three months straight. It's probably not even run, ran for like a total of two months. So just bear that in mind as well. But that's enough yapping. Let's look at my results and here they are. Depending on if you're a positive person or a negative person, you could kind of view this in two ways. The good way, I guess, or the possibly, you know, glass half full kind of way of viewing this is I've hit four different blocks here. I hit a block on the coin B1T. I hit an Earth coin block. I hit a New York coin block and I hit a world coin block. <laughs> very much a globetrotter kind of uh, mining situation I got going on with world, New York and Earth here. But nevertheless, let's move on here. As you can see, these are the definition of crap coins, <laughs> more or less. Now, no offense if any of you are super into any of these coins. I'm going to say right now that I have no idea about any of these coins. Um, but what I will say is 
they're small enough that they aren't even they don't even seem to be on any exchanges they definitely aren't uh, listed uh, to the point where you can see a value for these coins on places like coin paprika coin gecko coin market cap so there is no value for uh, this mining pool uh, to fetch in terms of how much these coins I've mined are worth in either you know satoshis or in dollar you know usd which is why it says i've made a, like zero dollars and zero cents here i haven't made nothing because i have hit these four blocks um but this crypto has no price uh that this website can fetch at least i also tried looking up the prices for these cryptos and couldn't find anything but it does prove the concept of, yeah, you can hit blocks while solo merge mining Dogecoin uh, on these other chains. Um, so it, it works as it should, which is hopefully, you know, not a surprise and the way it should be. But with these things, you never know, right? Um, and I am one world coin, 50 New York coin, 8.4 Earth coin and 5 B1T coins richer than I was three months ago. So let's just hope that these all go to the moon now and this would have been all worth it because of course the half glass, uh, the, the glass half empty viewpoint of this is like I've wasted three months of electricity on this experiment to have nothing uh, to show for it in terms of actual profitability. I'm gonna leave it at that. Let me know in the comments what you think about this. Was it worth it? Was it not worth it? Is it, you know, good to kind of have a proof of concept of this or was this just a waste of time? All right, thanks for watching. Over here on the screen is in another video. I'll, I'll link the previous video, which is a more in-depth explanation of this whole concept. And also down there, YouTube will put a video that it really thinks you will like. So yeah, I'll see you in one of those videos. Thanks for watching.